anyway um, we just want to uh, eyeball it you know so we just want uh, only the very speedy one so you know you can see that you just want put it between now uh, maybe 30 or something we just want more 10 15 and let let us um, stay with this now the th next thing is you can do it inside the other bit but um, but um, you know <laughs> we're gonna use the blast node put it to point and we will say the um, the, um, the at CD is uh, is bigger than 0 0.1 something like this delete non selected and now I have it here so we just uh, pin it no we don't want to pin it uh, we don't have to pin it stay like this and now you can fit the range you know just the very very speedy one you can see just to keep w where to emit the, the point we don't want too much of them uh, something like uh, yeah uh, we can we can use also the the the, the speed you know uh, calculate the speed using the velocity and we can add or mix them you know at the uh, yeah uh, make them only and put them on the CD but the length we have to fit range it also so the speed so we want uh, we want the speed also to be between now uh, maybe two and maybe three and thirty something like this um, Yeah, when they hit the element, you can delete the uh, by using the binding box. But anyway, uh, just go back to. So I think the let's see is the ten and uh, thirty. No, twenty. No, five. No, five is too much. Two. You know, you just have to find the. No. Let me. Well, I don't want to emit too much point, you know. Uh, so much one and uh, sixty, something like this. Did I use the? No. All right, we just share up the the this one I just want to use the vorticity and uh, just to find uh, but I don't want to to see too much uh, well, it goes away after a while yeah no problem so we might p put it 60 or something like this anyway you get the idea uh, yeah you get the idea no we're going to use this is the criteria where to emit the thing we're going to use the the pop uh, network of course and we fit it inside so now for the pop we need the we need the surface in the second and the velocity in the third one i'm going to show you why in a minute so we go inside as always we have the the pop object and the pop source you know uh first things is to three maybe as, uh, give it a uh, short life expe uh, expect expectancy <laughs> I never know to uh, expectancy so short life expectancy and now if you hit play no you can see they are going they are going to be emitted and and that's all and that's all you know cause just emitted well you know just the emission of the point and uh, of course I forget to change something this is to, to make it all points so that we can emit so this is what's happened when you play it you can see they are stocking because there is no forces so if I put gravity I put gravity force they are going to fall of course 
as uh, they don't stay on the surface they fall immediately because of the gravity of course so we're going to use the the pop kill just to <coughs> sorry uh i'm going to use a box outside or maybe inside why not uh where is it um we're gonna pop kill and use the bo bonding box enable it and i hate to use the bonding box because i don't see the when i hit uh, enter i don't see it. i can ca i can uh, uh, you know that's why i i always use the bonding object <laughs> i say box or some things and here i can play it a little bit or uh, or even show all object and show the flip tank so that i can you can you can you can use any any method you want so in this case i can i can you know put it like this um because this splash uh, and uh, we want you want the box to to be larger but not that large all right so we copy this box we go again inside we just want don't want to see everything in the pop kill we just want to paste it here so let's play and see what's happened nothing happened if i invert it or maybe enable it then, then <coughs> oh you, know, you can see you now the box is a bit too small so we can pin this one go back to the box hit enter <coughs> now you can't hit enter <laughs> okay this is not this one this is this one a little bit larger let's play <coughs> yeah something like this just to <coughs> to see <coughs> excuse me <coughs> just to see the anyway now come the fun um as you can see uh, or uh, as you saw there is no no um, no really behavior there is no um, uh, communication between the fluid uh, behavior and the, the particle they are just emitting and falling with the gravity down as as you as i said uh, <coughs> so the trick now is then going to use um, some uh, geometry warp geometry warp is the kind of um, of attribute warp in the it's the same thing so when you go inside you can see this this something there this uh, is uh, the same uh, <coughs> as the attribute warp um, in uh, in SOP, and the geometry warp uh, will let us uh, communicate with the SOP level and do some um, operation uh, with the SOP level uh, um, information. So just like uh, you talk to the to the party because they are you are in dyna dynamic. Uh, 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 level so you can talk to the to the SOP level uh, and uh, doing some uh, calculation without going to the SOP but uh, gathering information from the SOP sorry um, first thing to do is the input because we we want to use the as you can saw the first the second and the third so we're gonna you're gonna say the first input it uh, is the second one and the second one is the third so and you know you, you don't have to say the first one because the first one in the in the dynamic is always the the object incoming object so you don't have to specify this anyway we have the second the third one we need uh, the second for the surface as you can see and uh, the third one is using the velocity and i'm going to show you why we need this in a second so dig inside geometry well no the trick is there so what we need we need to know where is the surface you know gather the first the or sampling in um, in houdini uh, jargon <laughs> i don't know what's the name in uh, in english the uh, the uh, houdini talked uh, to the surface in 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 volume uh, uh, language as a volume sampling so gathering information from the from the surface from the geometry uh, because it's a vdb then it's a uh, you can use the, the sample uh, volume sample so to get this uh, uh, this information so and you feed the sample and as you can see we use the first one because it's coming in the in the second one but the first one in the geometry what if you don't remember this is the input one is the second one right so we have the sample 
uh, the file. So, so I am going to. Um,